time with uh, Raoul. Thanks for having us, Raoul. You're very welcome. And, uh, well, you see already we have a truck behind us, and uh, maybe Raoul is going to just explain it. Raoul, where are we and what are we doing? Okay, right now we are in Northern Baja in a ranch called Rancho La Bellota. That's where we live. And basically, this is the house for the Baja Peninsula Overland, the Mini Moog Ecolander, which we designed and built ourselves. He built this vehicle, if you believe it or not, Raul, this guy, he built this vehicle probably from scratch. He had some helpers. Yeah, it's five people who is involved in the project, you know. And the fabricator, the mechanic, the body shop, the electrical, and the upholstery guy, the guy who does all the upholstery okay. for me. Plus, I, I do the drawings and the design. Nice. So it's basically his design. And uh, yeah, just why don't we do a little well, tour? Okay, this is a, it's a in base of a Hilux, 1994 Hilux. Toyota. Toyota. Why did I choose this vehicle? Basically, because everything almost is manual. They don't break, they don't break. So everything is manual. We rebuilt engines, we rebuilt transmission, everything was rebuilt. But the most important part of this truck is the living box, the box. Let me just ask you one thing more about this. This is a 4x4, right? 4x4, four, four, four cylinders, 22 R engine. Okay, and it's uh, not a diesel? Not a diesel, it's a gasoline. Gasoline, yeah. So it's for Baja, it's perfect. Yes, yes, Baja is perfect. Basically, the gallon of diesel and the gallon of gas is very similar price here. Yeah. So for us, gasoline works perfect. Okay, so basically, the, the box has the sleeping area, solar panel, 300 watts. The sleeping area, that's, you will see it as soon as we put it up. The kitchen, good to start with this area. Yes. Safety lock, perfect. Safety lock. So, so what is it, aluminum? All aluminum. aluminum. All aluminum. The frame is steel. Everything is being powder coated. Nice. This is like, kind of like the dishwashing area. Yeah. Right here, we have all the utensils. Forks, knife, and all those things. Um, then we have, our blender. Ah, perfect. Blender for the shakes in the morning and margaritas at night time. <laughs> uh, all Which the, are actually pretty good, the margaritas he serves. Pineapple margaritas. Pineapple margaritas, his favorite. The, all the stuff for washing dishes. In this truck we carry basically four containers of seven gallons of water each one. So total is 28 gallons of water. That's a lot yeah. for this small yeah. size. Yeah, room. exactly. That is for showers and cooking, washing dishes. Nice. That's and it. I like the way they flip. You just flip and that's and it. It has the speaker, very easy. Every compartment of the car has their own light. Nice. Perfect. Right there. Now we move to the we move to the kitchen area. There we go. Stove. Drawers. We have our windbreaker. Which is, let me jump in while he does that. For which Baja. We realized for Baja, it can be windy sometimes, and the guys who are out there, they know that. Uh, we have an inside kitchen, but this kitchen is perfect, look. So you can put it in the, in the wind and it's gonna be nice. Yeah, you can stop the wind so you can cook. Nice. Uh, we have our drawers here. I like it that you locked everything. We carry a very unique 12 volts slow cooker that we just connected there. We make breakfast in the morning when it's time to change locations from point A to point B. We make our dinner, connect it on the road. By the time we get to destination, dinner is ready. This is a very cool thing. Nice. That is a very okay. smart overlanding tip because you're gonna spend a lot of time driving and you don't wanna, well, we spend a lot of time standing around cooking so this way you can be fast. Normally, when you, sh choose a uh, rich destination, sometimes a little bit late. You calculate six hours driving or five hours, yeah. end up to be eight hours. Exactly. You end up to uh, the destination, you want to have food. And you're ready. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so very nice. And all those drawers. These are the drawers. Okay. Well, we'll collect. Collect. Yeah. Wow. Pots, pans, dishes. And in order stuff. just to park, I mean, this is a, a straight floor now, but if you're a little crooked, yeah. this, this is a lock. You only open one, the other one doesn't fall in your hand. Exactly. This is the ladder to go to the tent. Then we have second ladder. Wow. Connects right there. 
20 liters of extra gasoline. So now uh, Raul is already preparing. Uh, we're gonna see the, his uh, creation of the bed, right? Yeah, we, we decide not to use the, the typical gas shocks that leaves the tents. We don't want anything to break on us. You know, I'm very worried all the time about things breaking down in the middle of nowhere. So we decide to do everything manual. So the way we lift our tent, roof tent, is with two metal sticks. Okay. Yeah, that goes right here. And everything is sealed, so waterproof, obviously. Yeah. Rubber, so the dust doesn't go inside. Oh yeah, nice. We open that too, right? Yeah. One, two, three. Oh wow, look at that. Wow. That's all. It took a fraction of a second. Nice. So that's our living. That's our living quarters up there. Nice. And then from the stairs you go up there. Yeah, the really is. easy. This is big. It is. So that's our space up there to sleep. Nice. All right, we are now in the tent of Raoul's creation. And uh, yeah, I love the setup. I mean, it's just great. It's insulated, I have a feeling. You can, you can put, let some air in. If you don't want air, you can close it. Here on the side, he explained to me already before, he put all the electrics so while he's sleeping and he hears something, he usually travels with the dog too, so if he hears something, the dog barks, he just switch on all the lights, he has all the LED lights around the truck so from here he can see everything where he is. Uh, also he has a 12 volt up here so he can charge his things. Basically this is a little truck and you have two stories. So you can relax here and somebody can be down and cook and do whatever. Nice. I like it, I like it a lot. And the perfect vehicle for Baja experience. <laughs> so now we're in the cargo area. So this is, before you open that, this is all extra storage for, I guess, These yes. are batteries? Oh yeah, batteries for, for the solar panel. It's 300 watt solar, he mentioned yeah. already, and the batteries for storage. And Optima works perfect. It's not a commercial. No. They do good. Nice. So this is one of the coolest things here. You know, as an overlander, and you know that, we travel as a couple, my wife and I. So it will say, bring whatever you want for the trip. You will not be enough space for her stuff. So <laughs> we have this and hers. Nice. We limit ourselves to fill up these boxes with the clothes that we need for the specific trip. One month, two months, or whatever it is. The solar control panel, the MPPT, nice. inverter, we have an inverter here, beautiful, uh, 12 volts, 750, yeah. a portable toilet is so important, and we have our own bathroom and shower, which is in the back, I will show you that. Wow guys, check this out, this is a mini me, I would say mini me, because we, we, have, have, the we have the exact five. same, yeah. just yeah. I think double. Yeah. But it's cool, look at this. And I know this, I can present that because it's like mine. Um, well, this lid is up here, this is a freezer department. So a little freezer department and you have space for all your stuff. Then we have a small pantry for flour, sugars, cereals. This box is what carry the vegetables, uh, things from can canned food. Mm -hmm. Stuff like that, cereals in large area, in large containers, you know, and little things go right there. Nice, really good. And this is, I guess, where you put your, your gas. That's oil. the gas, and this is spare part, spare part area. The jack, lower hose for the radiator. I just replaced the upper one. Uh, we we travel with a few liters of oil, just in case. And where is your propane tank? It's on the other side, right? Well, it's on the same box ah. in the other place. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. One thing I want to mention is in this truck, we're using KM trees, we have good trees. It's not a commercial. The only thing is we need those tires so we don't get flats. These yeah. are kind of like the best tires for long distance right now in the market. Yeah. The walls are very thick and the tray, it looks very aggressive, but it's very quiet. It doesn't make noises. Nice. It's not like the old school tire of uh, mud terrains. These are really nice design. Small roof rack to carry things that we don't need. Mostly, what we use this for is 
when we're in a campsite and we, you know, in, in the mountain you get coyotes and all that, so you don't want to leave food outside. So what we do is we take the boxes with the food and we just plant them there at night time. That's all. Okay. Yeah, and you can have, I mean, maybe the foldable stand up pads or whatever you we, can we, put we all carry right there. Exactly. Yeah, you for extra right luggage yeah. or if you come put your backpack, whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this truck is very basic. You know, it's a, it's a, stick, a stick shift, manual transmission, but it has air conditioning. That is important. Yeah. You nice. know, for the, for the cabin. Yeah, when you're on the highway, you want the air conditioning. Mostly in Baja, the peninsula, that gets very warm. And uh, Raul also told me that he wants uh, to have aircon in the future in his tent up there. That's a good idea and uh, let's see that. Yeah, that's basically a home unit, the tiniest you will find in the market. Yeah. Just for an emergency when it's too hot. Yeah. It will be adapted in this corner. Then when, when we are in a, in, a, like in a city or in an RV place or a campsite. You can hook up. We just hook it up. They sleep comfortable. Perfect, perfect. Mm -hmm. yeah. Say stop. Can I break? Keep it going, all the way. There you go. And there. This was right here. Beginning. Look at that system. Made in Mexico, huh? And then it's Baja. Baja. Made in Baja. Check it out. Private room. Private room. Right there. Extra room. Now we got it. Oh, wow. You know, you can take a, we put our toilet, the affordable toilet. We do our showers. We have anchors that sticks right here. Of course, right now we are on a concrete stuff, so that's uh -huh. a work. Then uh, we have the zipper. And we have the door. Nice. Yeah. So that's the shower. Yeah, it shower is. and a portable toilet area. <laughs> Raul? I'm very cool, impressed, right? you know, yeah. I mean, you guys know what we drive, but this guy did it all himself, and uh, I think it does yeah. the job. It does the job perfect. This is a perfect truck to travel the peninsula. You know, in, in Baja, some of the nicest places and more unique places are off the highway. Narrow roads, mountains, deserts, you know, the oasis, and this is a perfect truck to cover those areas. Yeah. It was designed with the history that we have, my wife and I, we have of traveling through the peninsula and inland in Mexico. And in the long run, Raul told me, he has a lot of experience with horses. We were able to, thanks again, to ride horses first time on a horse. Uh, it was great seeing you guys riding horses. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it was really amazing and the future uh, for him, uh, we talked a little bit about yeah. something. The future is gonna be more the overlanding and maybe he can, Tell us, because I really, really love the idea, guys, uh, what we talked about the last three days. And what okay. is it? Okay, we have this uh, dream, my wife and I. We've been traveling the peninsula for many years. And we've been also taking people on horseback through the mountains of Baja for many years. But now it's time to change one horse for several horses, power, horsepower. Uh, we're thinking about building several of these identical cars and guiding people to the most unique place of the Baja Peninsula. And I invited here my friend uh, Fabian to be part of that. So he will ask you guys something special and please let him know about that. <laughs> I will ask you guys, would you guys be interested? You saw this whole setup I and mean, I love this thing. I would love to have one in my garage, but that's another story. But I know Isabella and me, you know that we traveled to Baja. It's the only place on this whole trip where we went already twice. We spent six months already on Baja. We love the peninsula. We love the off-roading. We love the overlanding. So would you guys, that's the question, would you be interested in experiencing a life like that? Like we do, we, I know that you ask us a lot, how is it possible, whatever. But if we would offer you the possibility to travel 10, 20, 30 days, whatever, in a vehicle like that, and you experience exactly all the beauty, what you see in our beautiful drone shots and videos, would you be interested in that? If you are interested in that, please let Raul and me know. Comment here, right here in this video, or whatever whatever you find about in Living Gear 4 before. Just give me feedback if you would be interested in doing that. And just as a history of the reason of the project, I've been racing Baja, you know, the famous Baja 1000, Baja 500, for what, 
88 was my first Baja 500. 2004 was the last race I did. So we know the peninsula. We know the secret places. We know where to take you. We know where is the fun areas. Uh, and we travel there all the time, all the time. So we wanna offer you the same experiences. We will be guiding you, Fabian and I, to take you there. We will be in charge of taking care of the, the vehicles so they work properly for the trip. So let us know. Let us know. Thanks guys, see you when we see you. Thank you, Ro. Pleasure being here. Same, same, same.